Okay, so let's see if you know enough basic math and basic financial accounting to solve this problem without a calculator. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. Two Math Man, I thought this was a math problem. What are you talking about, accounting? Well, we are dealing with money. Matter of fact, uh, let's take a look at the problem. So we have $10 minus $20. But uh, the $20 is in parentheses, and in accounting, this means something. All right, so I just gave you a big clue, but uh, the answer is one of these down here. All right, so we do have a multiple choice question, and let's take a look at our options. So A is $10, B is negative $10, C is $30, and D is negative $30. All right, so once again, no calculators, but uh, if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to explain these parentheses and how to answer this problem. All right, so the correct answer is C, $30, or a positive $30. Okay, so if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't even understand what these parentheses are. Well, this is not that uh, complex of a financial concept. And it's something that you definitely need to understand. And if you never uh, saw parentheses around money, well, this is very important because you see this everywhere on all sorts of financial statements. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started right now. Okay, so we can't solve this problem unless we understand what these parentheses mean right here. So we have $10 minus $20 in parentheses. So what does this mean? Well, this is where this uh, basic accounting and uh, your ability to read financial statements comes into play. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. T2 Math Man, I never took accounting. Well, this is a very easy concept to understand. Matter of fact, uh, let me go ahead and explain what these parentheses mean by this simple example. All right, so let's suppose you get uh, paid $100 from your paycheck. So, of course, we're very happy about this. You put that $100 in the bank. Then you go to your mailbox and you see that you owe $20, right? You have some sort of bill. Uh, and it, obviously the bill is for $20. So if you have $100, right, and we're happy about this, but now we owe $20, what is your true financial kind of status or your financial situation? Well, really what you have here is $80, right? So what we have to do is subtract away this $20 bill from the amount of money that we have, and uh, we're left over with $80. Okay, so this bill is money that we owe, and there's another name for that, and that is called debt. So if you have debt, it's like negative money. And the way we like to express that in accounting, and by the way, I'm not an accountant, but uh, when you see financial statements, you'll see uh, parentheses around money, okay, that is debt. So this right here is $20 that you have, or a positive $20. And this right here, uh, $20 in parentheses, is like a negative $20. This is money that you owe. This is money that you have. So anytime you see money in a financial statement uh, with parentheses around it, it is a negative value, i.e. it is debt. Okay, so now we can think of this problem as $10 minus $20, but to really this $20 is a negative $20, all right? So... Uh, the parentheses really just means that this is a negative value. All right, so now that we understand this, we can kind of get into the second half of figuring this out. Okay, so $10 minus $20 in parentheses is the same thing as $10 minus, right? So we still have this minus right here, but this $20 in parentheses is a negative $20. So here is what we have to figure out. So $10 minus a minus $20. Now this right here, this minus of a minus can be confusing. So we want to write this a little bit uh, better from a mathematical standpoint. So we'll put parentheses around this negative value. So $10 minus a uh, uh, $20 in parentheses or a negative $20, we can, write it, we can write it like this. Okay, so from a mathematical standpoint, what we need to figure out is what 10 minus a negative 20 is. 
So if you know the answer to this right here, well, of course, I already told you the answer, but uh, this is how we get to our final result. All right, so let's go ahead and take the next step and see how we subtract a number away from a negative value. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Now, my channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. Also, I'm trying to encourage people that are having a tough time in math to never give up. So if you enjoyed this content, again, hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. All right. Now, before I show you the last steps to solve this problem, i.e. what uh, 10 minus or minus 20 is equal to, let's do a fast review on how to add positive and negative numbers. So here I have two examples, and if you understand these two simple examples, you'll have the basic idea down on how to add positive and negative numbers. Okay, so here is our first example. We have $5, and we're subtracting away $4. Okay, so what do you think the answer here is? Well, if you're like, hey, Mr. You 2 Math Man, if I have $5 and then I take away $4, well, that means I have $1, and that is correct. But uh, let's be more precise here in terms of the signs. Okay, so this $5 is really a positive $5, and we're taking away $4. So this is like debt. This is like money that we owe. So the sign of this number right here is really negative. But uh, we can kind of uh, more clearly see this by doing something called plus negative. All right, so here we have five minus four. So let me explain this plus negative business right now. So anytime you are subtracting uh, numbers in math, you can turn the subtraction operator into a plus operator. So uh, let's go ahead and see how this works. So here we have five minus four. This is equivalent to five plus a negative four. So we, can call, we call this plus negative in math. Okay, so this is the way you want to kind of think of or handle subtraction problems, right? Uh, this really helps you avoid making uh, errors when it comes to figuring out what the sign of a number is. All right, so 5 minus 4 is the same thing as 5 plus a negative 4. And now here we can see this uh, more clearly. So I have $5, but I'm going to add a negative $4. So in other words, I have $4 in debt. Or, uh, or I owe $4. All right, so if I have $5, that's enough money to pay my bills off, right? My $4 bill, and I'm left with a positive $1. Okay, so keep this uh, plus negative in mind because we're going to go to the second example, and uh, you're really going to have to focus here if you're not familiar with adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. Okay, so four minus five dollars, or four dollars minus five dollars. What do you think the answer is? Well, this four dollars is like a positive four dollars, right? So we have four dollars, but here we have minus five dollars, right? Or we're taking away five dollars from four dollars, right? So this is uh, the same thing as four plus a negative five. Okay, so if you have four dollars, but you have more debt, than the money that you have, well, you still have debt, right? So if you have $4, you could be like, hey, uh, here is my $4, and I still owe you $1, right? So 4 minus 5, let's write it this way. 4 minus 5 is equal to, whoops, let me go and write this better, 4 plus a negative 5, which, of course, is negative 1. All right, so when I uh, teach positive and negative numbers in terms of adding and subtracting, I like to use uh, money examples because I think this makes a lot of sense. Okay, so now let's get back to our problem and figure out what uh, $10 minus a minus $20 is equal to. So uh, here is the, basically the problem that we need to figure out from a mathematical standpoint. So that is 10 minus a minus 20. So what does this mean? Well, again, we have a subtraction operator here so we could turn this into a plus negative 
So this is the same thing as 10 plus a negative of a negative 20. Okay, so negative of a negative, the negative sign really means opposite. So what is the opposite of a negative 20? Well, that would be a positive 20. So really this means 10 plus the opposite of a negative 20. That is a positive 20 or 10 plus 20, which of course is 30. And our final answer here is $30. But uh, let me go ahead and explain this in a different way. Okay, so basically what you need to understand is that the negative or negative of a negative, like the negative of a negative one is a positive one. All right, so if you kind of just remember this, uh, you'll be okay right here. But again, we have this uh, subtraction operator, so turn this into a plus negative. Now you have a negative of a negative, which is positive. But uh, there is another explanation here, and that is the following. So negative of a negative 20, this negative sign, this really is a negative one. So you can kind of think of this as negative one times a negative 20. So in math, a negative times a negative is a positive. So once again, we end up with a positive 20. All right, so uh, I think the interesting part of this problem, at least in my humble opinion, is the accounting or the financial symbol of parentheses, right? So if you deal with financial statements, and of course we all have to deal with our own personal finances, you can't be really happy about something if you see a financial statement and you're like looking out and looking at all this money, you're like, hey, here's a thousand dollars, and then uh, here is a thousand dollars. Boy, I have two thousand dollars. Wrong answer right here, right? Because this is debt. This is zero dollars, right? So you got to be careful in uh, counting and uh, your ability to read financial statements. So hopefully you learned something about uh, accounting. And of course, this is really basic stuff. But uh, you know, all these little details certainly count, especially when you're trying to figure out how much money you have. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.